All right. We are currently heading out of town. We're heading to the forest, where there's some crazy, some crazy stuff's going on. Apparently, I'm not exactly sure where this forest is, though. To be completely honest. Also, I just noticed that giant chain in the background. Is that the Blastia? Is that entire thing the Blastia? That thing is massive. Huh. Congress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course. It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongrath, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, <laughs> will you please let that go? I'm kidding. The city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna finish heading out. And we are out. Okay, so we need to find our way to this forest? Question mark? I'm gonna see if there's a way to cross these different rivers to get to where we need to get to. So I'm looking at my mini-map in the top left, or top right, excuse me, and there's there's a couple spots on there that shows like where you've been, I think, and where you haven't been with red or blue markers. I'm assuming that's what those mean. Or maybe they mean like towns versus dungeons. Either way though, there's a red marker that's kind of in a foresty area that I think we could explore. But it's, it's not this way. Um, apparently that wasn't a red marker after all. Hmm. Okay, here's the town we were just at. Oh, look, there's two different ways of leaving the town. If we go back in this way, can we come out the left side of it? And maybe that's where we're supposed to go? Let's find out. Let's actually find out if where you leave the city from actually affects which side you come out of. Rather than like in some RPGs, like no matter where you leave the city from, like you just end up outside the front of it. Know what I mean, chat? So yeah, let's see if this actually matters. See where it puts us. No, it does actually matter. Would you look at that? Huh. Okay. Well, let's see if this leads us to our forest that we need to go to. Encounter Link. So the Encounter Links are pretty cool. So you'll see like wild monsters like on the field, right? running around if you get into a fight with one and there's another one close to you there's a chance that both or even all three i think enemies can actually all get pulled into the fight and you're fighting like a mass number of them all at once and it's kind of fun also kind of helps speed up grinding a bit you don't have to go through the like the crackle two times you don't have to like zone into the fight again. You don't have to wait for the reward screen. Like the results didn't come up and all that kind of stuff. So, did we find it? Yeah, we found the forest. Perfect. Elv Mock. I had no idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful. There's somebody here. Was it Raven? It is Raven. Is hey, he finally going to join us or what? What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. <laughs> sure Something you are. fishy. Right? What? Where's my welcome? You, you kind of fed us. We'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Hey, you fed us bad info. Uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. 
What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. Okay then. Raven joined the party. Cool. Let's see what Raven is like. We'll switch him in for Rapide, and then we'll make him player one. Kalmanachi! How you doing, man? Welcome in. How are you doing today? Here's our question of the day for you. Arts. You have three. Rain, Bouquet, and Serpent. Base art fires a magic arrow, shoots an arrow, fires an arrow. Because he's a he's a archer. Cool. Okay. Well, since he's an archer, let's move Rita out and remove repeat back in. That way we have two frontliners and two backliners. Yeah, let's try that. I look sleepy. Oh, there's no challenge. No, at all. I'm feeling okay. Oh, he's a cool archer dude. Glimmer of heaven? What does that do? Ooh, that was cool. Rain? Just shoots one powerful arrow out? Yeah, she's one powerful arrow out. Ranger? No, I'm doing okay. I'll be honest, I could always sleep. So what I'm doing here is I'm using all of the bonus items we have here, these bonus titles. We have these because we have the definitive edition of the game, and these were previously uh, DLC content. So we get to use them for free. And they're basically just alternate outfits for our characters. So we get him as a teacher. Okay. Kind of looks like a doctor coat. A weird thing. Okay. King of Iron Fist. Okay. And Glorious Shadow. Ooh, that one's cool. Yeah, let's use this one for a bit. This one looks cool. What do y'all think, chat? Oh, today's the last day of your Twitch uh, sub, bro? Oh, no. You better use them a lot, dude. Uh... You pulled an all-nighter to build what you sent in Discord? Dude, Panda, that's dedication. That is dedication. I haven't pulled an all-nighter in years. I don't do well without sleep, chat. I try to get at least... I try to get at least eight hours of sleep a night. If I don't, I... I get grumpy. Oh, look at that! When he gets up close, he has a he has a sword. Oh, that's cool. Poppy and monster. Ha! That's amazing. I monster is my drug of choice. Yeah, change style. Changes a normal attack depending on the distance between enemies. That's cool. So that's from his weapon. Variable edge. A bow that can be changed into a short sword. Very few are skilled enough to handle this weapon. That's super cool. And then we can't actually give him anything good, can we? No, it looks like he's pretty much fine. Okay. Uh, Tom, can you throw it in Discord? You joined our Discord, didn't you, Tom? If not, yeah, I can definitely give you permission here in a moment. I don't like the range he has on his bow. Like, he's supposed to be a ranged dude with a bow, but he doesn't actually shoot that far. Yeah, Tom, just let me know if you've joined the Discord. If not, I'll, I'll give you permission in chat to post it. Oh, 
Oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? There you go, bro. You have a uh, pressure for the next hundred seconds. Like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you. Come here a second. What? M me? Mm -hmm. huh? The never gonna what give you, you up Carol? music video, bro. <laughs> Kid. Why me? Is he trying to get you to overcome your fears of fighting okay, monsters? This isn't funny anymore. Should be any minute now. Something dies, and because it something died, the inside. What did you do? It just it never gets old. Let their guard down. Give them a little poke, and then bam. Jeez, I bet you're great at parties. <laughs> I suppose that was good enough. Yeah, it's a it's a decent song, Tom. It is. It's a decent song. Speaking of songs, I just got into Nor New Orleans blues music. It's it's actually really good. Yes. I would highly recommend right. looking up the group Tuba Skinny. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. Okay, just got a little chill up my spine. I mean, you're good, Tom. I can also see it on my computer without clicking it either, bro. Well then, Mr. Raven, <laughs> after you. Don Snow, welcome in, man. How are you doing today? Right. Because I didn't actually click on it. I just moused over it and it popped up with the what it was. Did he even game any? Aw, oh, dang, John. I'm sorry that you had such a long day at work. Oh, he's setting a trap there. That's interesting. Huh. So, I thought that because this guy had a bow, he would totally be, like, long-range support? I don't think this guy's supposed to be long-range support. Let's see how the computer plays him. Mata FF8. Mata? Mata? Welcome in. Welcome to the community. Thank you so much for that follow. You are a boss. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the community. I am Lucid Faith. It is great to have you. What games are you playing right now, John? What about the person who controls the union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, Ooh, he's Overwatch. a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's no. clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don, but that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words. We'll just leave it at that then. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the new patch, John? The uh, two roll, the two 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 lock in for the rolls. I've been hearing that that change really fixed Overwatch. What's your opinion of it? Okay, this is just a cutscene of Carol freaking out because he's a coward. Okay. And this is us talking about how Carol is a coward. Because he's a small kid. Got it. Oh, even Fortnite. Interesting, man. Yeah, I'm not... 
I'm not huge into Fortnite, to be honest. But... I don't know, I'm not saying I'm not huge into it. I don't play Fortnite. I don't really play Battle Royales in general, so... So this is all just talking about Carol um, being scared of bugs and Rita giving him some bug spray that she also sprayed on Raven. Carol learned the bug breath base art. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually a little storyline for why he learned that uh, magic spell. That's cool. Socialist devs. <laughs> well, I think the community was getting pretty toxic with like no one wanting to work together for roles and like shoot choices and stuff. So I think they, they almost like had to do it to like almost fix their game. At least that's what I heard. I don't really play much Overwatch. I do own Overwatch. Played it a few times. It's fun. But, um... What? What strategy? We're on moderate? Moderate should be fine, right? Why isn't no one using... There we go. There we go. We're done. Uh, when did the Choo 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 lock-in start? Uh, I think that was like last week. I think it went into their PTR, the public test realm last week. Um, I don't know if it's hit the live game yet, to be honest. I thought it did, but maybe it didn't. Also, this guy's massive. This is definitely no regular monster. Sometimes it's better to run when it gets too much. Oh, jeez. So they actually want us to run? How do we run? I never actually ran from a battle. Uh, escape? Escaping, escaping, escaping. Okay. I didn't want to game over, so I just went and took the... Oh, wait, but it didn't go away? Oh, interesting. Here, can we, can we stun it? Nope, we can't stun it. Okay, I guess we're just going in. Yeah, I guess we're just doing this. Okay, well, Yuri's dead. Yuri's my main character. Also, Rapide's dead. So, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to win this fight. Okay, we ran away again. <laughs> okay, don't fight this guy. Got it. Why would they put that guy right there so late in the game to teach you to run away? Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, see, that's good of you, John. Like, it seems like you're actually trying to be a team player, right? I'm guessing a lot of people aren't like that, and they just want to play what they want to play, and if no one else wants to play the roles the team needs, well then, too bad type of thing? Know what I mean? So, I don't know. Have you been enjoying uh, Fortnite, though? I know what, I think Season 10? is starting out shortly because the uh, Fortnite World Cup just happened yeah, right and that was successful I don't know what this status condition on me is. There's a little pill over Yuri, but I'm, I'm not sure what that was. That's interesting. Man, I was just getting warmed up. Play blackjack, like the card game. John, are you making a comparison between 
card selection or the cards you get in blackjack and team composition in overwatch is that the, is that the comparison you just made because that's that's actually kind of cool i guess it's kind of a stretch but i could see that that could be cool or am i just reading into things wow carol when you freak out you really freak out come on everyone has a few things they're afraid of don't they not me now now genius mage it's not nice to lie even old raven's got his own fears what are you afraid of old man i'm afraid of pretty girls what yeah yeah rita it's better to come clean that way we can help you out like anyone needs your help i can take care of myself just fine her type always has some of the worst fears yeah whatever Yeah, so you were comparing Fortnite, or not Fortnite, Blackjack and the rules to Overwatch. That's interesting. Okay, I like it. I like it. Try to be careful. These botanical ab abnormalities are being caused by the air. It's a good chance there are pockets of excess air all over the place. Air in this game is magic. Yeah, too much air can be negative effects. People with Lista, taking too much, no more than I thought. Okay, it sounds like they're just talking about avoiding patches of concentrated air when possible. And that's fine. If I see something funky, we'll walk around it. No big deal. The building can be intimidating Fortnite? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the Fortnite is pretty complex in that game. It's, it's... What is it? My little... I don't really play it, but my little brothers were over and they enjoy it. So I have it installed. And... They showed me that you can actually have like a creative mode where you can just build all you want. And it's almost like Minecraft creative where your imagination is your only limiting factor. And you can make basically whatever you want. And I think that's really cool. Really cool how they let you... They open a, mo a mode up for people just to play with their building tools. Because it seems like their building tools are actually... Pretty darn good. And I don't know. I thought that was a really cool choice by Epic to do that. I know a lot of people hate Epic, but you got to give them props. Like, you don't scare me. they're extremely successful. So can't hate them on them. Can't hate on them too much. I got comboed and it wasn't able to actually finish off my uh, special abilities there. Oh well. Oh yeah, they're definitely capitalizing. I mean, three mil for the World Cup? Like, that's, that's impressive. Minecraft came out in 2009, DJ? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. That means I was in college in 2010. And yeah, I remember playing it in 2010. Early 2011 when it first came out and that that was fun I didn't realize it was almost 10 years old now that's kind of crazy wow Minecraft is older than a lot of kids that's ridiculous All right, John. Thank you for dropping by and chatting and everything, man. Hope you have a great night. And John, always remember that you matter. I'll catch you next time. Ooh, that thing looks cool. Also kind of scary, but cool. Okay, we got it. I was kind of afraid that that thing was going to be like that giant monster we saw earlier that the game was just basically going to force us to run away from. We're done. Getting a lot of gold, though, basically the currency of this.
I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll, taken in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. <laughs> there you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. I wonder what Raven is actually up to, though. Like, I wonder if he's like a spy for the Blood Alliance, or he's working Let's for work some together. larger evil something. Like, I wonder what he's is actually going on with that. Okay, um, I'm not sold on Raven being awesome, so I'm gonna throw Rita back in, because I know Rita is awesome. And Rapide's my dog best friend, so dog best friend has to stay here. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Minecraft is huge. I think the thing about it is that it's easy to pick up, but there's a lot you can do with it, right? Like, Minecraft, like, anyone can pick up and start playing and have fun. But if you spend a lot of time with it, you can do literally anything in the game. And I think that's what's really appealing to a lot of people. It seems like the most popular games are easy to pick up hard to master right mario the mario franchise is a great example of that mario odyssey has multiple endings based on uh, what you've done in the game right if you just beat the game you get one ending if you collect uh like 500 moons and do a, a kind of a hard task that i still haven't done yet in the game you get another ending if you go through and collect every single unique moon in the game you get a separate ending right and it rewards players of all skill levels that's why mario odyssey is like a great game and i should think it got game of the year I'm not sure if I don't I don't remember if Mario Odyssey got game of the year or if in 2017 or if something else did. VM Gaming coming in with a party of four. Any subs in chat? Can we get some lucid two shields to welcome in the Raiders? VM, welcome in. Welcome in all y'all. For those who don't know me, hey everyone, I am Lucid Faith. I'm a family-friendly streamer. We usually do RPGs here, doing Tales of Vesperia right now. We do some speedrunning and remind y'all that you matter. Welcome in, everyone. Jackie Chan, welcome in. VM, I see you there, dude. For those just joining us, we do have a question of the day here. It's a way for us to get to know each other a little bit better. Today's question of the day is if you were to direct a movie what genre of movie would you choose and bonus question what would the plot be that's that's a big question so take your time flex your creative muscle a little bit and, and let me know let me know guys for me personally with that question i'm not exactly sure of the plot itself but it, i would want it to be a sci-fi movie very futuristic one of my favorite TV shows is Doctor Who. And one of the movie that I've really liked in recent years was Ready Player One. So I'd really want the overall 